you know, obviously going to be a lot of spotlight on Pete Alonso and, and the contract situation going into this last year. Just uh, from a managerial perspective, how do you go about it and try and make sure that it doesn't become a distraction? Yeah. Um, again, happy to have Pete on my side now. You know, I've seen this guy perform for so many years, and uh, now that I get to work with him, and uh, I'm excited about that. Um, but, yeah, from my end, it's, you know, myself and the coaching staff making sure that we put him in the right position, uh, not only physically but mentally. And that's through a lot of conversations, you know. Uh, and, look, this is a guy that has been in, uh, in New York and, uh, you know, one of the biggest stages there is in, in sports. And, um, and he's performed, you know, one of the best players in the league. And, and I, don't, I don't see any difference, you know. Uh, but um, I'm just excited to, 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 for the opportunity to, to work with him moving forward. With the Yankees, you watched you know Aaron Judge have as good a, a contract year as anyone's ever had. Did, did you take away any lessons from how he approached it that, that maybe Pete can apply? I think the biggest lesson uh, it will be to be themselves. You know, don't try to do too much. Uh, again, guys that came up through their systems and uh, they got to to the big leagues and you know they've been performing in biggest stage there is in sports, right? And uh, there's no difference here with, with, with Pete. He came up through the system, got to the big leagues, and he's been one of the best players in the league uh, for years now. And uh, just the biggest advice is, you know, be, be yourself, don't try to do too much, uh, and just continue to have fun. What were you talking about with Pete and Vientos at first base there before they took grounders? It looked like you were talking shop. In yeah, it was, yeah, it was just more about footwork and some of the things that Pete does uh, around the back. Uh, you know, same thing with Mark and some of the things that they do as far as, you know, the way they hold runners. Just kind of me getting to know them and especially Pete and, you know, some of the new rules, uh, I guess, that are going to come down. And... Uh, I think it's important for us to, 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 to have those early conversations, you know, uh, just the flow with him and the pitching staff as far as like when they're picking over, just little things like that about the game that uh, I thought was important since we had that opportunity on the field today. Uh, what did you see in Luis Angel Acuna? Um, he's talented, obviously, right? Uh, he's excited to be here, excited to get going, to get to know – a lot of new faces, even though, you know, he got traded, but this is new for him, you know, getting getting familiar with, with, with the complex and the people in, in here. But talented player, you know, uh, talented player. Uh, we know what he can do defensively, offensively on the bases. And uh, I'm excited to watch him play and continue his uh, development. He said that as he envisions his defense being the strength of his game. Do you agree? And, and what have you seen about him defensively that that's, uh, impresses you? I mean, elite footwork, you know, uh, first step, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm glad he said uh, the defense, you know, uh, but he, he can do a lot of different things on, on, on the baseball field, and that's exciting. You know, he can, he can help you win baseball games, but by the way he runs the bases, you know, uh, bat to ball skills. Uh, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty talented kid. And I'm sorry, <laughs> one more. Um, he... Uh... Where do you envision him playing? How, how do you plan on using him this spring? He mentioned that he, he when, when he was asked, uh, what position do you play? He said, I'm a second baseman. Um, what's your plan for him this spring? Well, I mean, we already had that conversation with him. Uh, we plan on using him up the middle. You know, you're, you're going to see him at short and you're going to see him at second base. So for now, here in camp, um, he'll get some shortstop reps and then he'll get some second base as well. One more on Acuna. He he obviously draws a lot of comparisons to his brother, which is almost certainly unfair. But how important do you think it is for him to sort of get out from that shadow and just sort of establish himself as his own guy? Yeah, I don't think, like you said, I don't think it's fair for him to uh, to, to, to to put that type of pressure, right? But uh, we know the talent, you know. And uh, he, the biggest thing is he's just got to be himself, you know. Uh, got to go out and do it and uh, continue to learn and continue his development. Uh, that's the biggest thing, you know. Uh, for him to compare Ronald Acuna, obviously a special player, right? But uh, we know the talent's there, and uh, it's important for him to understand who he is as a player uh, and stick to it. So.